All right, guys, in the meantime of trying to figure out why the Civic will not run, I wanted to do a short, little, simple DIY video for you guys, and that is going to be how to check fuel pressure on your car. Uh, most of the time, when, diagnos when, when diagnosing, when, when, when diagnosing a video or a most of the time when diagnosing a problem on a car you're probably going to want to check fuel pressure to make sure your fuel pump hasn't went out fuel pump fuse fuel pump relay any of that so first thing i'm going to tell you guys to do is get on amazon and buy this fuel pressure gauge kit it is extremely nice and i think it was like 30 dollars it comes with everything you need for all different setups all different cars the gauge all these fittings uh, different hoses and clamps to tie into that option basically it gives you every option that you will need on any different car to check fuel pressure so here are the list of fittings that it gives you so I will go ahead and link this down in the description box below and if you guys are wanting to check fuel pressure or work on cars a decent amount this is super nice to have in your inventory and um, I highly recommend this one because seems seems like it has everything you'll need so anyway Let's go. We're going to be checking fuel pressure today on a uh, Honda Civic. It's a 1997 Honda Civic, but all cars are very similar. You're, you're going to either be tying into the fuel rail, uh, fuel filter, really, really anywhere. You'll see where your, your fuel line comes in, anywhere where your fuel line is coming in. So um, there's no set in stone place to do it. So anyway, let's head out to the car and get this hooked up. All right, guys. So I've got a rag here just in case we make a little bit of a, ga a mess with gas. Also, I have a bottle here to drain the excess gas into from the gauge. But anyway, I right now I see two different tie-in points. This is my fuel filter. There's a tie-in point right here. You can take the, the bolt off of the banjo fitting and go in there and then there's another thing on the other end right by the fuel rail the exact same deal uh, you can also come down to after your fuel rail to a fuel return and tie in there and that one will most likely be where your hoses and hose clamps come into play at these other two are going to be actual fittings take my 17 millimeter wrench here and get that off be careful here because you're gonna have gaskets on all your uh, fuel line fittings like this so there's that banjo bolt now we're gonna take this bolt and figure out which fitting fits the best if you're gonna go into the banjo bolt they've got a hole here that's how your fuel flows so right here are all your banjo fittings you can tell because they have the hole in them. So let's see if our thread pitch lines up. It does. See it lines up real good there. Now we're going to, don't lose your bolt. We're going to take that fitting and our gauge. Make sure you get all your gaskets because there's there's a gasket up top and also a gasket underneath. Thread that in. Tighten it up good. Now take your gauge and hand thread that on. As tight as you can with your hands. No need to crank down on it with pliers or anything. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the car and turn the key. When we turn the key on, it should pump fuel to it because that's your fuel pump, fuel pump priming. And then we're gonna go ahead and crank the car a few times. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, which 
you guys can't see it. I went ahead and put the the uh, return line from the gauge into the bottle just in case. Shouldn't need to do that, but I did just in case. So I'll go crank and I'll let you guys watch. So as you can see, maybe we're at about 40 PSI, 35, 40, which is good. We'll go ahead and hit our return or our reset button here. And it's gonna put all that extra gas into this bottle here. Make sure it all drains. And that is it guys. So now I'm just gonna take my gauge off, put my bolt back in, but that there is how you check your fuel pressure. So as you guys can see, very simple and easy thing to do on your own and just a great tool to have in your garage. So once again, if you wanna pick this kit up, I'll link it down below. I love it, I have no complaints so far. Thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel if you wanna watch me work on some of my vehicles and leave a like if I helped you out.